Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahusha, Barakatai Yahawa, Barakatai Yahusha, Basham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. And this lesson will be entitled How to Combat Satan. Matthew 4 and 1. Then was Yahweh led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. Verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of the Most High. Yahweh Shai combated Satan utilizing the scriptures. Now, Satan attempted to tempt Yahweh Shai when he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Now, if you know anything about fasting, you are weak from a carnality standpoint, but when you investigate the benefits of how fasting strengthens your spirit, you are on another level. Now, this is Yahweh Shai. So think about how much stronger Yahweh Shai had became within the spirit after this 40-day and 40-night fast. All right? But the point is, he combated Satan utilizing the scriptures. Okay, when we see demons or when demons are plaguing our minds, we are in combat, Akim. We must utilize the scriptures and you have to believe in order to apply the scriptures. You have to know the scriptures. And at the same time frame, you have to believe that this will work. Okay, I've seen demons. I've been attacked as well, you know, but the main thing. You have to have his faith for this comeback and the Holy Scriptures. And you apply it. You apply the Scriptures the same way Yahweh Shah did. And you pray and you fast. Okay? Verse 5. Then the devil take him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of the Most High, Cast yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yahweh shall said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Again the devil take him up into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me then said Yahweh unto him get thee hence Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy power and him only shalt thou serve all right when we are combating demons, utilize the scriptures. Utilize the names. Okay? Jude 1 and 9. Yet Michael, the archangel. Now, Michael is under Yahweh Shai. Okay, directly. Yet Michael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses. Thirst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, the Lord rebuked thee. Meaning what? Michael combated 
Satan utilizing the word, the scriptures, okay? And within utilizing these scriptures, you tell Satan, you tell that demon, I rebuke you in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And then ask for forgiveness and pray for yourself, your families, as well as the Akim's um, families. Pray for the Akim. Pray for the elect. Pray for um, your houses too to be protected from these demons. All right? You rebuke these demons as soon as they attempt to plant seeds in your mindset. All right? That's what you do. Or if you are being attacked, rebuke that demon in the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right? Look, when I was going through my situation, I remember Apostle Gabar stated, you know, the more you pray to the Most High for protection against these demons, you are in a continuous fashion building that wall around you, which is your protection. Okay? And what protect us? Psalm 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord Yahweh encamp round about them that fear him and deliver them. Right. So if we are men of the Lord, we have a hedge, but at the same time frame, we have to do our part. Pray for protection. All right. And I promise you, those demons will leave you alone, but you got to believe. There is a hedge around us, bros. There is a hedge protecting us and our families and our households. But we must believe. Job 1 and 9, then Satan answered the Lord Yahweh and said, Do Job fear the Most High for nothing? Has not thou made an hedge about him? Going into what? Psalm 34 and 7. And about his house, Psalm 34 and 7. And about all that he hath on every side, Psalm 34 and 7. All right. If you are a man of the Lord, you are protected. Your families are protected. Your households are protected. Okay? And about all that he hath on every side, thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But the point of the scripture is to prove that there is a hedge. Our forefather Job had a hedge. Seven angels protected him. Okay? Now remember... Satan was only able to penetrate due to the bed. And within that bed, the Most High removed that hedge. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. When those demons are attacking you, run into that tower. Utilize the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. I rebuke thee. In the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, I rebuke thee. Colossians 3 and 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, hence rebuking demons, do all in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Most High and the Father by Him. Right. Utilize the names. Remember, the names are a strong tower. Okay? By utilizing the names, this is a spiritual connection with Yahweh Shai and the Holy Father Yahweh. Okay? 
All we need is the scriptures and combat. And also, you know, there are times where you have to be anointed, okay? Your house has to be exercised. Um, um, yeah, your house has to be exercised from these demons, all right? And utilize the brotherhood as well, men that believe, okay? Don't bring no man in your household that is afraid or second-guessing himself. Why? Because that demon can jump on him. no. You get Akiam that is steadfast in the faith, okay? And everything you need to know, okay, regarding how to combat demons is within the Holy Scriptures. And always seek counsel, okay? Ephesians 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Craftiness, okay? Craftiness of Satan. Because what Satan will do is ultimately put you against you. All right? To what? Eliminate your faith in yourself. To eliminate your faith in Yahweh Hashem El Shai. And once you stop believing, okay, Satan has total access to do what the fuck he wants to do. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, right? Those spirits on the left-hand side of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, being guided by who? Satan. As well as Satan himself against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Verse 13, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand right. Verse 14, Stand therefore, having your loins girt, your mindset about the truth, so like about with truth, right? Building yourself in the truth and applying the scriptures and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And where does this breastplate of righteousness, righteousness come from? By you knowing the truth, by you doing what the scripture states. Okay, a breastplate is protection. You put on a breastplate to protect yourself, okay? And it's the same thing with your belief system in this truth. Verse 15, and your feet shod, meaning binding, okay, with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And also, feet can be symbolic for instructions, okay? Our instructions, or if we bind ourselves to something, is to the Holy Scriptures, Okay? And most importantly, being inspired by the Holy Spirit. Verse 16, above all things, it's like you, it's like you, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Right? So we must have this truth. We must combat Satan utilizing the scriptures. But at the same time frame, we must believe taking on the shield. It's like you're taking the shield of faith. Okay, taking the shield of faith. All right. Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high. All right. All of this is symbolic. For the Holy Scriptures and your belief in the utilization of the Holy Scriptures. Praying always begging. Because that what that is what praying means to beg. Alright. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all 
perseverance, and supplication for all saints. All right? Utilize the scriptures and have faith. Salak Yakim. Thought I was fasting and praying. Uh, Salaki, I had it. Let's go to Matthew 17 and 18. And Yahusha rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and the child was cured. From that very hour. Verse 19. Then came the disciples to Yahweh Shah part and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Because of your unbelief. Alright? So the disciples knew what to do, but they didn't believe. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily, truly, I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Right? So as you become stronger in the truth, stronger demons attempt to combat you. All right. And there are time frames where you must pray and fast. OK, so there is a spiritual protocol on how to combat Satan. You utilize the names. OK, to rebuke Satan. You have faith. You apply the scriptures. Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, right? Hence, combating demons, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Patience, okay, meaning having faith, comfort. Comfort is a form of support, okay, of the scriptures. So the scriptures, okay, gives us patience and comfort to what inspire hope that's the point in combat there's no pity no self doubt no remorse. We know what we must do. Shalom.